Grüezi and welcome. During the last couple of days, I asked myself where I stand politically. Can it be labeled? Intellectually and even emotionally on the question of Europe, Switzerland and Germany and immigration. Regarding my political view, most probably I am a kind of classical liberal still and neo-identitarian as I am in strong support of individual and independent European nation states. Regarding the question of Europe, Europe is a historical intellectual idea, a mosaic of different tribes and a free space for expression and visions shaped by history, innovations and success. That was the agreed status quo until everything started to change about two decades ago. Now I see all nation states of Europe under immense threat because of the lingering yet ever increasing danger for being transformed in non-identity states. This mainly has occurred because of the aspiration for a great European integration project planned for half a century, but brought to life in 1990 by former German Federal Chancellor Helmut Kohl and French President François Mitterrand and, it seems at first glance, to be the main cause for the present chaos we found ourselves confronted with on a European scale. Regarding Germany and Switzerland, since the Habsburg Empire, the House of Habsburg came to the Austrian throne in Vienna in 1282, our history is intertwined. Then, the legend tells, in 1307, William Tell tasted and earned freedom. Just look at some of the wars our forefathers fought in an epic struggle to free ourselves and establish our own identity on solid ground. Fast forward to recent times. Again, we had and have to please the Eurocrats and German political elite alike, just to keep our bilateral agreements going. According to many Swiss politicians, these agreements are of such importance that our whole economical existence would crumble without them. Is this really true though? Is this not a typical Swiss compromise for an unspoken truce of an already half EU membership? And unfortunately, in many cases, we have virtually been blackmailed into for us unfavorable commitments which our ever willing Swiss politicians have agreed upon, yet they clearly lack stamina and negotiation skills. The results are accordingly. Now, who is to blame? Some of the widely accepted and attributed qualities of the Swiss people are integrity, strong sense of freedom and federalism, minding one own business, meaning inward looking and introverted, and being humble, honest and precise. These great qualities are, in my opinion, exactly the reason for most of our problems. Perhaps since Mr. Pierre Steinbrück, Mrs. Merkel appointed former finance minister, in 2009 called the Swiss people unkindly cave dwellers, we are simply not taken serious on world, world stage. And a powerful nation like Germany has an easy game. Our deluded politicians try hard and fail to give the impression that Switzerland has the demeanor for a world player. But the world looks at Switzerland and still sees mainly the above described qualities. The tragedy is that our politicians know this at heart and now try to change our society to become 
irrevocably extroverted, open to the world. By exactly doing that, opening up to the world with the tool of forced mass immigration. Just go back and think of the Swiss Air Lufthansa deal or top positions in our major companies and education system held by foreigners and Germans or our self-harming immigration policies which are designed by our government to please and impress everyone except its own people. Now, are our neighbors, the Germans, or even Brussels, Europe, to blame for taking advantage of us? I don't think so. Because a whole set of circumstances has led us into accepting our victim role. Globalization, pressure from our industry leaders, our self-serving career politicians, a countrywide progressive left-wing agenda, widespread multicultural worldview, and many reasons more. So, if it is mostly self-inflicted, and if we still are who we are, is there still time to slow down, stop or reverse the existing trend? I think there is not much time left. And we would have to do the following. Number one, wake up politically. Number two, be able to consciously and well-informed choose our future. If not, why do we have a direct democracy in the first place? Number three, learn to fight for the right of our own cultural existence and stand our ground. Number four, seriously look into the dangerous issue of overwhelming Islamization. All of this must be done if we want to have any chance to survive as Swiss nation state with an own identity or as traditional European multifaceted peoples as a whole. As mentioned in my Swiss immigration project video, the slow transformation has begun decades ago. But since 2015, a war of ideologies is raging and we have accumulated a critical mass of either unaware or complacent European peoples, which are willing to delegate the task of shaping their own faith and the future of Europe to remote politicians in Brussels with their globalized one world vision. We are now exactly at the crossroad and the direction we choose will irrevocably determine our future. On this topic, I would like to share with you a list within the video description section of links to some very informative channels and individual voices which are inspiring and worthwhile watching. Thank you for your time and be well. 